Welcome to our regional Suncoast Sisma invasive grass look-alike video series. Our mission is to address the threat to native diversity within the Suncoast Cooperative Invasive Species Management Area by coordinating and increasing efforts to eliminate or reduce invasive non-native plants and animals across public and private boundaries. I'm Natalie Smith, Parks Naturalist for Sarasota County Parks, Recreation and Natural Resources, and today we will be learning to identify invasive itch grass in one of its lookalikes. Itch grass, Rotbolia cho chinchinensis, is a non-native, warm season annual grass that was introduced in the 1920s. It is a federal and state noxious weed and originates from the old world tropics of southeastern Asia and invades agricultural fields, disturbed areas, and hammocks. This species is unpalatable to native wildlife. Itch grass can reach 10 feet or more in height and is considered a spreading grass. Short stiff hairs can be seen on the leaf sheaths, especially near the collar. Leaf length can be 50 centimeters long and 20 millimeters wide. Blades are sparsely pubescent above and glabrous below. Sheath hairs are stiff with swollen bases. The leaves of itch grass can be one inch wide and taper to a point. Ligules of itch grass are membranous, ciliate, and light brown. They can be up to one millimeter long or slightly more. Crop roots are a great characteristic to look for when trying to identify itch grass. You can see here that they are often a purple or greenish color. The inflorescence is a jointed cylindrical raceme, one to six inches long with yellowish green spikeates. One of the spikelet is stalked and sterile, the other is stalkless and fertile. Seeds are typically produced six to seven weeks after emergence and production continues throughout the growing season. Colms are fibrous or sparsely pubescent and have hairs that can puncture the skin when handled and can cause severe irritation, hence the name itch grass. Bacahatchee grass is our native lookalike, also known as Trypsicum dactyloides. You might find Fakahatchee grass along riverbanks, hammocks, swamps, and wet disturbed sites. Unlike itch grass, Fakahatchee is a clumping grass. Fakahatchee grass ligules have a ciliated membrane up to four millimeters long. Colms are glabrous, robust, and can grow to two meters or more. Sheaths and other parts may be pinkish. Leaves can grow up to 80 centimeters long and 35 millimeters wide. Blades are broad, flattened, and tapering distally with a well-defined midrib. Inflorescences are mostly terminal of a one to three spikeate and erect branches. Seed is produced from May to July and seed heads are six to 10 inches long made up of one to several spikes. Thank you for joining us, and to learn more about Suncoast Sisma and invasive species or how you can help, please feel free to contact us. 